What's going on everybody? So you guys asked for this video, here it is. I found a very cool software, it's called DVD Fab. Just gonna walk you through it right here. This is what it looks like. And there's a bunch of different modules and you gotta pay for the one you want. I think it's around $100. And we want this second one right here, so click on that. Notice it says M2TS, pass through over here. Go ahead, click on that and that's where you change the format. M2TS and MKV, those first two ones are one-to-one uh, -one without any compression. The MP4 and the MKV on the right are compressed, so you don't want those. Like I said, M2TS works, so let's just keep it on that. All right, so this is what it looks like here once everything is good to go. Next thing you need to do is go down and select a destination and then you click start. This is what it looks like when it is processing. You'll see it says M2TS pass through and then you just kind of let it do its thing. And there you go. Got a completed successfully uh, dialogue and apparently there's a Valentine's Day sale. <laughs> anyway, that's pretty much it. That's all you got to do. So that's the software part of it. What about the hardware part of it? We are going to need an optical drive that will read all our disks. I wasted a lot of money buying drives from Amazon that didn't work. It wasn't until I googled UHD friendly drive and then I was all set. This list you see here, I bought a few of these and they just didn't work. It wasn't until I clicked on one of these links that it took me to an article where somebody was selling these drives. So I just decided to buy one just to check it out. And guess what? It worked. And it works well with DVD Fab. So to get DVD Fab to work, you need to get one of these UHD friendly drives. And that's it guys. I know this is a super short video, but I hope you guys liked it and definitely like, and if you're new here, subscribe up and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.